Hi guys. Today we'll learn how to use a turntable in factory IO. I'll try to keep it as simple and short as possible. So, let's get started. First, we need to add a turntable to the scene. Before programming, we need to know the sensors and actuators we have in the turntable. We have sensors for loading objects on the turntable. That is the back limit sensor and the front limit sensor. We have sensors to know the orientation of the turntable. That is limit 0 and limit 90. We have actuators for loading and unloading. That is turntable roll plus and turntable roll. And one actuator for turning the turntable. Now. Let's, try to understand how we can use these sensors and actuators for this I have added a palette just over the back limit sensors. We can see that the sensor gets activated. This can be used to turn on the turntable rollers and we will be able to load the pallet on the turntable. Also, we can use the front limit sensor to stop the rollers. If needed we can turn on the turntable turn actuator to turn the turntable. After turning we can again turn on the rollers and the object can be unloaded. Now, that we know something about the turntable let's program this operation. For this, I have added a turntable to the scene, an entry conveyor and three exit conveyors one on each side of the turntable and a control panel. For connection, this is how I have done it. Now, I have already created a start stop rung if you have any questions regarding how the start stop rung works you can watch the video on latching and start stop rung on my channel. So, now I'll add another network for controlling the entry conveyor. If the start light is on turn on the entry conveyor, if we get back to factory IO we can see that I have forced activated the start push button so I don't have to go back to the panel to simulate the scene. Now if I press play the entry conveyor turns on and the pallet starts moving. Now I'll add another network for controlling the turntable. The logic is the same as we discussed at the beginning. If we program it this is how it looks. To keep it simple, I just loaded the pallet on the turntable when the back limit sensor is activated, and when the front limit sensor is activated I turned on the exit conveyor. If we simulate it we can see that the logic works. And now we can modify this logic to turn the turntable and unload the pallet on the left, or right, exit conveyor. Before that, let us look at the logic. Can you see what is actually happening? Let me show you. I have added, three small conveyors in series. Can you see the similarity? They are the same, the only difference is that, in the case of the turntable, we have sensors built in, and, we can converge, or diverge, objects on the conveyors. What we have programmed now, is just turning on conveyors, when the sensors, before it detects the object. But in case we want to unload the object, on the left, or right, conveyor, we first need to stop the rollers, on the turntable, then rotate the top, after the top is rotated we need to unload the object. This means that the three conveyor example, that I just used can work, but the middle conveyor is activated twice, with some delay in between. Note, I am just trying to get this working, so, I am programming each section independently, and I will combine everything later. Now, let's try to do this. I will start by adding a new network, and create a similar logic that is. If the back limit sensor, detects the object, turn on the turntable rollers. Again I will use a set reset flip flop to do this. Next. If the rollers are on, and the front limit sensor, detects the object, turn off the rollers, and rotate the top. This can be done by connecting, the front limit sensor input and turntable limit zero sensor input, in series to the reset of the flip flop. Next. If the top is completely rotated, turn on the rollers again, to unload the object. This means, when the turntable limit 90 sensor input is high, we again turn on the turntable rollers, and this time we will also turn on, the exit conveyor. Let's upload it to the PLC and simulate it.
The program is working as we wanted and we can create a similar logic to unload the object on the right exit conveyor. So, we were able to program and use the turntable for transferring objects on all the exit conveyors. However, there are a few issues that are clearly visible. 1. The turntable orientation is not reset after the object is unloaded. 2. The exit conveyors are never turned off. I will combine all three logic to work together and solve all the issues in the next video. If you like this video please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.